Framer has released a lot of features and updates over the past month and this month. Let's explore the best and most impactful features and updates that are truly life-changing. Alright, but before we continue, subscribe to the channel because we post every week about Framer. And we also make some handy plugins and templates on the Framer Marketplace. And stick to the end because the last update that I'm going to tell you about is mind-blowing. I've used it and it has made my designs so much better. All right, guys, finally, we have selection colors inside Framer. So you don't need to go through your layers and manually change your elements color. So you just need to uh, click on that desktop primary or, you, or, or click on your main stack and go to the selections and change it from here. So I'm just going to basically uh, name my main background to background main. So I don't mix it up with other colors here. So, and what we need to do is I just want to uh, change this theme to some kind of dark theme. So I'm just going to select my desktop primary and open up the selection colors. And from here, you can basically change the uh, color of each layer or section and I just need to change these text colors. So I'm just going to once again uh, click on my desktop primary and here I'm just going to change my colors. So yeah, perfect. Okay. Oops, that's that's the background. <laughs> Let's leave it. And boom, as you see, I've changed it to some kind of dark theme with using selection colors. All right, guys, the next update is CMS fields, and this is a huge update. So as you see here, I have a blog page, and if I go to the CMS, you can see that I have multiple articles and you can see that I have added a gallery field before. So uh, if you want to do that on your own, you should click on that three dots button and edit fields and then uh, this plus button and add gallery. That's it. You just added a gallery to your CMS fields. So you can add multiple galleries actually this is super fun but uh yeah the, the rest of the process is super easy you just need to upload your own images and actually how we should bring it to the canvas is by adding a detail page and then going to insert and edit field and then here we can add gallery and yeah boom that's it super super easy and what this gives us is actually a basic grid it's you can't link it with uh thickers you can't link it with carousels you can't do a slider slider actually you just have a simple grid but they have promised that they will add it in the next update but hopefully yeah we can have a nice slider on our own canvas with the new update of cms galleries on framer I have had a lots of issues with exporting in Framer and now with the new update it seems to be fixed. Sometimes when I exported an image it would get distorted, cut off or maybe or even had some issues with rendering my gradients and yeah it seems to be fixed now let's see what they've come up with. Okay here we are in the Figma file and this is an exported image from Framer. It's from two months ago I think or three months yeah. And as you see, uh, my image is distorted, cut off. And if I go down, you can see that uh, this is this is also similar to the hero section image. And this one is exported in two hours. I mean, two hours ago. And as you see, everything is perfectly exported to my uh, uh, computer and, and nothing's get cut off or even um, you know distorted and this is 
thanks uh, thanks to Framer actually. This is super cool that we can from now on add. Uh, let me just remove this. Uh, yeah, I want to teach you. Yeah. We can add image rendering if you have a gradient or um, some kind of color overlays on your uh, framer canvas. You can add this image rendering and set it to smooth and go back to export. And oh, yeah, this is super cool that they have added sRGB and P3. P3 monitors are 25% uh, more per size in rendering color depth. Uh, competing to sRGB. So it's up to you to select sRGB or P3. And now you can export it perfectly. Nothing gets cut off and everything works perfect. Perfect, guys. The next update is scaling panel added by Framer team. And from now on, you can just press K and access this um, basically scaling options. You can set the origin of your scaling and you can basically set uh, whatever the number you want to scale your own layers. And this will apply to all of the children's and all of the uh, layers and stacks and frames inside of the selected layer actually and by the way this will work on Suiji's masking layers and everything that you have images stacks frames everything you can just basically as I said press K and access this beautiful scaling panel which is nice and I love it actually it's super cool and super uh, productive when I'm working on a huge template so I don't need to go through my layers and set uh, font size set you know and it keeps basically it keeps the aspect ratio and this is such a cool feature and yeah okay we have brand new layout template on Framer and what it does it's basically a, a fixed template for your website and it will be applied to all of the pages uh, by the way if you don't have a template and once you start using a layout template on your home page it's going to be applied on all of the pages so consider that make sure you don't mix up your uh, layout templates with each other so and how we should actually uh, create something like that it's basically if you right click on your navigation bar or your footer or whatever you want to place inside a layout template you'll see that create layout template or you can just basically go to the assets and click on that plus button to create a layout template so i'm just going to basically um, create a layout template from my layers so i will name it as um, header layout template and yeah once once you create it you can see that it's going to be applied on all of the pages hopefully yeah so it's repeated here so i'm just going to uh yeah i i've i've placed it before here so we need to remove it and we have a layout template applied here so okay so uh, under the assets panel, I can access my uh, header layout template. And as you see here, this is a placeholder uh, that says all of the contents and rest of the page basically places under my menu, actually, which is a some kind of layout template. So and if I change it, if I um, basically remove this, this and this, oh, yeah, and, and have a one navigation here so you can see that it's going to be applied on the home page and if i go to the rest of the pages uh you can see that it's applied everywhere this is it think of it like a boilerplate for your website so that's it go ahead and right now use it because i know that if you want to apply for uh, for your template or if you want to register your template on the framer marketplace you'll need to have layout templates on your website on your template actually so yeah all right guys the last update is insane as i told you 
It's super cool and super important. But I want to tell you something. You have definitely seen OTF funds, uh, which stands for Open Type Format Funds, and where well, you can just basically go ahead and try searching for what's the differences between TTF and OTF. But long story short, OTF is developed by Adobe and Microsoft, and yeah, OTF uh, supports cross-platform compatibility, Windows and Mac, larger character set, um, language specific specific features, ligatures, uh, variable fonts, and lots of things, I guess. But And it's widely used in professional typography uh, due to its flexibility and high quality rendering, actually. So yeah, let's, let's see what they've come up with on the OpenType format font. So with that being said, I'm just going to create a text layer on my uh, Framer canvas. And I'm going to name it as Frame Space. So and let's make it centered so that we have a nicer look okay so let's go to the fonts and choose open source type fonts from there and once you once you select open source you're going to see a lot of fonts that has been added since the last month and framer is uh keep adding these fonts into the uh, you know desktop version and web app version so this is pretty good and pretty nice that you can have um basically more customizable fonts uh as, as you know that otf supports many many features so i'm just going to for example you can see that this is a nice font um and and once you let me just basically select ft88 which is a pixelated font and you can basically enable this open type and you can use all of the uh, otf features that i explained before so if you change your font every font has a specific feature so if you just basically select this one and enable open type you can see that it has decom what is what is that denominators wow and fractions and numerators in everything ligatures font variable and it supports everything like um, if you have some kind of uh, weird mathematical numbers inside your your canvas you don't need to place it like give it a absolute position you can just directly write it inside your font and this is amazing that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out the weekly content that we publish on this channel see you next time peace